Well, today we're not too far off the beaten track in a nice little paddock not far from home, darling. Why yeah. are we here? <laughs> We've decided to bring the Expedition Blue Water Camper, hybrid camper, yes. out with us today just to do a little run through, a yep. setup, because it's always good to do that when you get yourself a new little camper. Yep. So we've, we've bought it just up the road from home. We're going to go through it with you guys so you can see what it's got as we do. Yeah, I reckon my side could go up one more. That looks better. This one has a motorised roof. Up like, oh. So you've got your storage unit at the front here, and that runs all the way through. So, you know, your annex, poles, things like that can fit in. This is one of my favourites, is the fridge. She's getting old, but she's still a goodie. The Evercool, she's been great. Fridge, freezer, freezer, fridge, however light way you like it. That just slides in and out nice and easy. And the solar keeps the fridge cold all the time. We've been out filming for weeks at a time without power. Not once did we ever run out. So you've got your big toolbox on the front. You've got your two gas bottles. We only use one because that's all we usually ever need. Uh, I've got a few tools and frying pans and things on that side. You've got the heavy duty jockey wheel at the front. Everything on this trail is heavy duty. So you've got your leather protector here to protect the camper. You've got your spotlight on the front to see at night so you don't smack your shin on the drawbar because that really hurts. You've also got a tap on the front. You can turn that on to fill up buckets, water, whatever you need. So that's really handy too. It's got this cool little blue handle that lights up at night. So after Mick's had those few beverages, he can find his way to the front door. Also a handy little drop down shelf for just putting your cups or whatever little bits and pieces that you have. You have a little pantry drawer here and you've got this pull out little kitchen bench, which comes in great for food preparation with a slide out cutlery drawer. A really big one for all your supplies to keep them neat and tidy. My favorite part, the inserted kitchen with everything including the kitchen sink pot and cold running water and a three burner gas cooktop with all this cupboard space you've got room for everything there's even another pantry here as you come along here there is an led switch here which turns on the lights above for nighttime and also the ones under here. You've also got your USB ports, you've got your 5, five volt, 2.1 amp and 1 amp. So if you've got something you need charging fast, the 2.1's there, and you can get that charged nice and quick. Plus you've got your power points underneath, tyres on the back, the big spare wheels. What I love about these campers from Bullywood because they've got these big juicy wheels on there that can get you in and out of anywhere. Storage box at the back here, and that runs all the way through for more poles and stuff. And you've got this up here now, from memory, I think that's an outdoor shower tent but don't quote me on that because I might be wrong because I haven't opened it up yet. And here is the outdoor shower. So not only do you have a shower on the inside of the unit, you've also got one on the outside and that's very, very cool. Now you've got your water inlets here. Now this works just like the Dargo did as it folds out and it's very quick and easy to put your bed up. So if you get to a campsite and it's raining or something like that, this is very easy and it all keeps you sheltered as you do it. And bang, your bed is up. For your hot water system this is your ventilation so that opens up and the hot air comes out now this is a fully enclosed annex you can put to the front so the hybrid camp has got a whole new room attached to it and they're very very good quality you've also got your power board in here so got your all your power lights that you can keep on or off uh, more storage up here and that's the one from the front like i said before runs all the way through welcome inside the expedition hybrid camper how good is this? A queen size bed that you can actually walk all the way around inside the camper. I absolutely love this feature. With two handy reading lights for those who like to snuggle up with a good book at night. If books aren't your thing, there is a 24 inch smart TV that is wall mounted on a swivel. Whether you're camping alone or bringing a child, there is a pull down bunk that can take the weight of up to 45 kilos. There is also a lagoon mount table. Ventilation certainly isn't a problem with the protective insect screen, as well as a privacy screen for nighttime. Clothing storage isn't a problem for the whole family with all this cupboard space right around to the other side of the queen size bed. Also a top bench that wraps around the whole storage system. Plenty of room for everything. If books and TV aren't your thing and music is like mine, there is a little Bluetooth radio CD player here with speakers both inside and outside the camper. Well, let's talk about probably the hottest and the coolest thing in the camper, and that is the reverse cycle air conditioner, which is mounted under the seat. 
you got your little switch here to turn your instant gas hot water system on and you can choose between 60 degrees or 70 degrees. Also, you might notice over here that we've got our PowerPoint switches. This would have to probably be my favorite room in the camper and that is the ensuite. With a shower and a cassette toilet, there is also a wall mounted light and a ceiling fan that also has a light that goes around it. There is a 200 litre fresh water tank underneath the camper, as well as a 125 litre grey water tank. Now they've saved space in the ensuite by putting the sink on the outside. 